Hello. This video will discuss weight gain during the first year of life. It applies to infants with growth parameters, such as weight and head circumference, that were appropriate for gestational age at birth. Babies grow at a rapid pace. Their birth weight may double by 4 months of life and triple by 12 months. As the infant progresses through their first year, their physical growth slows while their daily weight gain decreases. During the first 3 months of life, the average weight gain is about 30 grams per day and about 210 grams per week. Now keep in mind that the newborn may lose up to 10% of their weight following birth but will normally regain it by the end of the second week. Between the 3rd and 6th months of life, the average weight gain is about 20 grams per day and 140 grams per week. Between the 6th and 9th months of life, the average weight gain is about 15 grams per day and 105 grams per week. And between the 9th and 12th months of life, the average weight gain is about 12 grams per day and 84 grams per week. The decline in daily weight gain is gradual. That is, there isn't a market drop-off at any point. So weight gain does not suddenly decrease from 30 grams a day to 20 at the 3 month mark. This table is a guide and there's a range of weight gain that would be considered adequate. So now the important question. How is this information helpful? Well, appropriate weight gain is an indicator of health, while conversely, aberrant weight gain can result from several conditions or problems. To help illustrate the significance of weight monitoring in infants, let's examine a sample case. TJ is a baby boy born at term without complications, weighing 3,000 grams. At his two-month checkup, he was progressing well with a weight of 4,600 grams. He gained 1,600 grams since birth, which averages approximately 26 grams of weight gain per day, a satisfactory amount. When using birth weight to calculate the daily weight gain, consider that the initial weight loss that babies experience in the first few days of life will decrease the average to some extent. A later measurement will likely result in a more accurate average weight gain. At his 3 month checkup, he continued to progress well and his weight was measured to be 5,500 grams. He had thus gained 900 grams since the previous measurement about 29s of weight gain per day in the preceding 31 days. TJ was brought back in by his parents later that month due to concerns regarding poor feeding. At this visit, 27 days later, his weight was found to be 5,900 grams. He gained only 400 grams, which equates to approximately 15 grams per day, a low amount that is concerning and should alert one to the possibility of an underlying problem. In this case, an explanation should be sought and prompt relevant evaluation or management. Now for a few general recommendations. For weight measurement, use a reliable scale that is calibrated regularly. Infants are preferably weighed while completely undressed, that is, without a diaper. If, however, a dry diaper is left on, then remember to subtract the weight of the diaper. Weight should be measured to the nearest gram and recorded in four digits. For example, 4,321 grams opposed to 4.3 kilograms. Mark each weight measurement on an appropriate growth chart with a dot, opposed to a circle, cross, or another shape. Most infants track along a growth percentile. If there is significant deviation, that is, crossing of two major percentile lines, then further assessment is warranted. As well, assess further whenever an infant's weight, weight for length, or BMI approaches or is less than the 5th percentile. Other parameters such as mid-arm circumference and weight as percentage of ideal are also helpful. And it is vital to never leave the infant unattended at any time. Monitoring an infant's weight gain with serial measurements and the analysis of their growth curve is integral to ensuring their well-being. Early detection of abnormal growth patterns allows for the timely recognition of an underlying problem or pathology. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it provided you with clarification on some complicated topics.